Hi guys, I'm at the Woodland Hides again. Uh, I was here a couple of weeks ago um, photographing great spotted woodpeckers and today I'm back uh, and I'm going to concentrate on jays. Um, now I will photograph uh, other woodland birds. We're going to have uh, great, uh, great tits, blue tits, possibly nut hatches, great spotted woodpeckers, long tailed tits, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but I want to concentrate on the jays and what I really want to get is jays in flight. So I've got both my Z62 and my D500 with me um, and the Z62 is great for wildlife filming and it's, it's alright for stills, it's not bad for stills but for fast moving action if I'm just concentrating on the stills then the D500 is a really good camera body uh, to use because it's got a fast frame rate and a big buffer. So it's all good though. Um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to today. I'm going to spend the day in the hide again. Hide's down there. We've got the feeding station set up. Um, I've got peanuts out. I've got um, uh, flutter butter for the woodpeckers. Uh, we've got um, uh, sunflower hearts. I've also got um, uh, horse chestnuts, and they're for the jays. The jays really like the horse chestnuts. They also love acorns, but there's not many acorns about at the moment, so we're going to concentrate on using the horse chestnuts. Um, yeah, it's all good. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. Hi guys, I've just got some lovely pictures of um, a couple of jays. Um, absolutely superb. Uh, they're, they're flying in and out all the time. Um, I've also got uh, pictures of uh, great spotted woodpeckers, but I've done a video on them before, so I won't bother. I, I won't show any great spotted woodpecker pictures. But I've got the jays. Um, they've been coming in and out um, on a regular basis. Uh, it's all really good. Uh, over that side, uh, there's been long-tailed tits. Um, We've even uh, uh, briefly had a nut hatch coming in and hoping that I'll get more uh, nut hatch pictures a little bit later on in the day because they tend to come in a, uh, a, in a bit more regular uh, in the afternoon. But it's all great, the, uh, the jays have, have come in, I've got some lovely jay pictures. Um, as I say, I'm on my D500 at the moment because I'm concentrating on, on stills, but I've also shot some video using the uh, Z62. Uh, at the moment I'm shooting at a 2000th of a second. Uh, minimum because these uh, the jays are quick when they take off you need that two thousandth of a second if I can get it I'll get a, a two thousand five hundredth uh, depending on the amount of light around um, and uh, I'm shooting sort of pretty much wide open uh, at f5.6 um, yeah it's great um, feeding stations over that way uh, I've had really good light um, it's um, the lights changing um, in and out of cloud so sometimes it's really sunny sometimes not so sunny but I've got some really nice shots of jays interacting with each other in good light so um, yeah it's brilliant uh, I'm gonna uh, crack on there and um, see what else turns up it's, and what you tend to find actually with this uh, type of setup is the birds coming in waves so you will have all the jays coming and then you will have other woodland birds coming in uh, I think you know it's probably safety in numbers they feel more comfortable so once they've all coming in in a big wave of action then it all goes quiet for a little while and uh, those last few shots of the jays I just got um, um, were at the end of that wave now it's empty and um, I can't see any birds out there now at the moment so I'll probably have to wait another 15 or 20 minutes uh, to, um, to see the jays coming back in and the other woodland birds coming back in again and I think with the jays in particular what they're doing is they fill their crop up with food and then they'll go and hide that in different places in the forest and they've apparently got a, a unbelievably fantastic memory so they'll remember where most of that food is so they'll keep coming back to a food source like this filling up their crops so they've got multiple uh, nuts and seeds and stuff and then go and hide them around the forest for a later date you know because they don't know uh, if there's going to be food here tomorrow now there will be because this is a uh, feeding station gets topped up every day but you know that's how wildlife works it'll take the food while it's there and and stash it away in places that it can find it for uh, times that are a little bit harder so yeah i'll speak to you soon guys it's uh, i'm having a cracking day uh, bye for now
just got my best uh, shots of a jays in flight ever. Really, really pleased. I had one jay sort of on the you know feeding station on the log, and then another jay came flying in, and uh, I've got yeah, I've got really, really nice sharp pictures in flight and one bird looking at the other so really nice interaction so that was fantastic and then i've got quite a few i've got quite a few other jay shots uh, taken off or landing and they're all good and it was great because it was in good light um, the sun's going in and out of the cloud now because it's starting to cloud over but this morning we had good light all morning uh, so i'm really really pleased uh, i did start with my uh, z6 too but i've switched to uh, this morning just concentrating on still photography so I also switched to my D500. Oh, lens just fell off. Um, I switched to my D500 uh, because it's got a faster frame rate. This does about this does 10 frames a second. And to be honest, for stills, I've definitely got a better success rate using the D500 because that fast frame rate and the big buffer you get on the D500 has really worked for this fast moving action. So um, yeah, I'm really really pleased. Uh, Jay's in flight, in good light. What more can we want? Hi guys, um, yeah that's about it for the day now, it's about half four, five o'clock so the light's really going, so it's definitely not enough light for any more photography but that doesn't matter, I've had a really good day. Uh, as I've already mentioned I've got, I've got my best pictures of jays in flight ever so it's uh, a job done and I'm really pleased. I've got other woodland birds as well but I'll probably put them in uh, on another video because I wanted to concentrate on the jays for this one. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have enjoyed it, if you can give it a like, a thumbs up, that would be great, that always helps my channel, and if you haven't already subscribed, if you can consider subscribing, that would be brilliant. It's free to sub subscribe, and uh, you know, the more the merrier uh, on this sort of photography channel. I want it to build a nice community of photographers uh, that are interested in wildlife photography and macro photography primarily. I do the odd landscape video as well, but it's mainly wildlife uh, and uh, in terms of wildlife, you know, birds, mammals and macro in the summer. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now guys.